The ENAC project on Wednesday held a seminar at a local hotel in Senegambia. Funded by the European Union, the ENAC project is at the forefront of blustering Africa's approach to transnational organized crime. The project is a collaborative effort between the Institute for Security Studies, Interpol, and the Global Initiative Against Transnational Organized Crime. The seminar brought together specialists and advocates to discuss the integration of human rights-based framework in combating transnational organized crime. It also served as a platform for unveiling the research publication, Understanding the African Commission's Role in Combating Transnational Organized Crime in Africa. High Court Judge Justice Honorable Asia Dujalo C emphasized the seminar's goal of fostering mutual support in the battle against organized crime. As the threat posed by transnational organized crime networks to the countries of West Africa has grown, cooperation has grown and cooperation and a shared unity of purpose has become even more essential. The deliberations at this seminar will be of greatest importance. It will look specifically to continuing the critical important task of forging global alliance of policy makers and law enforcement agencies, which though coordinated would use international agreements, bilateral and multilateral, and close coordination between agencies aims to eliminate the threat posed by transnational organized crime. The new research by the ENAC project delves into how the African Commission on Human and People's Rights has tackled transnational organized crime within the African human rights framework, utilizing internal mechanisms and leveraging the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. The European Union representative reaffirmed ENAC's dedication to empowering Africa in combating transnational organized crime. As we know, organized crime transcends borders, threatening governance systems, peace and development. It fuels conflict and corruption, infiltrates business and politics, triggers violence, leads to environmental degradation and exploitation of local communities. The harmful effects of organized crimes are indeed felt at all levels of society. In Africa, as elsewhere in the world, globalization and development have unfortunately created multiple opportunities for organized criminal groups. The ENAC project committed to strengthening Africa's capacity to combat transnational organized crimes accomplished its goal by creating awareness, producing evidence-based knowledge, building skills, and providing technical expertise to governments and regional institutions. The research posits that organized crime infringes upon the fundamental human rights standards and values enshrined in both regional and international human rights documents, including the Charter. High Court Judge Honorable Justice Momodu Esjalo lauded the ENAC project's research as exemplary in the field of transitional organized crime. It is good that this research work has already been published. If it weren't, I would have recommended its publication immediately, without reservation. Invariably, or arguable, uh, uh, it is inarguable that the research work is par excellence on the on TOCs and how the African Commission on human and people's rights would help the continent in combating TOCs. Through rigorous research efforts, ENACT has contributed significantly to enhancing policymakers' access to evidence-based insights on transnational organized crime in Africa. The project aims to comprehensively analyze the scope of organized crimes across the continent and its ramifications on the security governance and development. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Buba Gajigo.